Hello all, welcome to the PCAP to XML and SQLite video training at Pentester Academy. Now this is a tool which we've created to aid you in 802.11 packet trace file parsing and getting interesting insights out of it for a wireless pen test. So let's get started. So why do we need this tool anyway, right? We have the fabulous Wireshark. Now Wireshark is great at parsing and filtering packets. So let's say we have an 802.11 PCAP file in here and I wanted to look at all the beacon frames. I can very easily go here and apply a filter on type subtype. And there you go. After this, we'll be seeing only beacon frames. Now this is fantastic. However, what if I asked you macro stats on the file? So as an example, if I asked you, can you give me the unique list of MAC addresses of every device in that PCAP? Or can you give me a unique list of AP MAC addresses or BSSIDs or ESSIDs? Or for that matter, could you give me the AP client pairs which are communicating with each other? Now, unfortunately, Wireshark cannot do that. And in all honesty, it wasn't meant to do that, right? It's a packet sniffing, parsing and visualization tool. It isn't supposed to give you macro stats, even though that would be a welcome feature. Now, this is where PCAP to XML and SQLite comes in. Now, what this tool does is it converts PCAP files to XML and SQLite equivalents and then allows you to write interesting queries with which you can derive different interpretations from those packet traces. These queries can be XPath, XQuery, SQL, uh, which most of you pen testers would be very, very used to playing around with. Okay, so let's look at a demo. Now the tool can be downloaded from the GitHub account. Uh, this should be a link available below the videos. We have a 32 bit and a 64 bit one. Both are equivalent. You can pick up whichever one you would like and use it. So I'm going to be using the 64 bit one in this example. So the moment you type in pcap to xml.exe, you should see a lot of help getting printed. Now, of course, a pcap file has to be input. Now, if you just give it a pcap file without any options, so let's say I'm going to pick up a couple of sample pcap files in here. Let's say we have small.pcap, right, or small.cap. Now, if you do not give any further options, the tool just parses through it, gives you an understanding of the number of packets, uh, the number of data control and management subtypes among those packets and all of that analysis, right? However, it doesn't do anything beyond this. Now, in order to dump the output in XML format, we are going to be using the hyphen X option followed by the name of the XML file, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Give a hyphen X and then let's call this small.xml. Now, what you would notice is basically a small.xml uh, has now been created inside this directory, right? If we open this up, let's allow it to load. You would actually find a beautiful XML structure in there, right? The XML structure is described in detail uh, in sample.xml, which you can open up. And what you would find is currently in version one, the WLAN MAC header is mapped completely 
every single header field has been mapped in there right every single header field has been mapped and this is what makes it so interesting now we'll come to querying this in just a bit in the next couple of videos the next thing which you can do with this is also to output this in SQLite format. So to do that, you're going to be using the hyphen S option. So just go down there. And let's just call this model.db to a hyphen S. And there you go. You would have a small dot DB in here, which basically can be used with any SQL browser, such as SQLite browser. So let's see that. Let's open up SQLite browser. So open up the database small.db and you immediately notice that we have a table called Mac headers in there, which again, as I said, maps individual Mac header fields and a table called packets, uh, which maps the individual packet identities in the PCAP. Now here is the actual data. Fantastic. So let's say right now, if you wanted to do a very simple type is zero and subtype is eight. So you could just go in here, put in type as zero, immediately the filter gets applied, subtype is eight, and there you go, right? A, a lot of fun stuff can be done. We'll take up doing some of these queries in the next couple of videos. Now, apart from this, there are other interesting features which allows you to isolate the packets of interest. So as an example, you can select a start and an end, or you can have a comma separated list of packets as well, right? You can use the hyphen D option. And if you do that, then all the packet parsing output is shown to you uh, while the file is being written. So let's close this. So now every single packet as it is being parsed is displayed. So in case you feel that, you know, there was a bug or any problem in passing a packet, you can isolate that by using that as the only packet to be parsed and you can look at the output in here. So as an example, let's say we would like to parse packet 7005. We would use a hyphen hyphen packets option. And this would be basically seven thousand and five. And there you go. If you actually go up in here, you would notice the packet which was processed is seven thousand and five. That's the only one which was processed. And you can see how it looks like during the processing phase, right? This can quickly allow you to eliminate issues where you think that a packet wasn't parsed appropriately. Right? Fantastic. Let me actually go ahead and dump everything back to small DB. There you go. Fantastic. So this is how you can get started with the tool. In the next video, we will look at how you can make XPath queries on the XML. Uh, that's all for this video. If you're enjoying your time at Pen Tester Academy and you like this tool, please recommend either one or both to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you and have a great day ahead.